Welcome back to Blueprint Channel, it's TK and I'm here to showcase Sui Lalo on all style of bases going through ring bases, box bases and diamond bases. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Alright, we're here on this ring base with double poison and triple multi infernos. Now I'm going to show you the easiest approach on the ring bases which is with the blimp but take a look at the sweepers so that way you can already tell we're gonna lolo behind them but what is the plan for the sui now if you see a ring base or any style of base you need to get either of the multi infernos the more you get the better so see if you can get two or if you can get one now with this like approach i'm only hoping basically to get one of these infernos because the other two kind of seems impossible to Sui, I'm not gonna lie. But this is where the Skelly spell will help you out a lot. We got Super Barbarians to actually like just get all those nice funnels from the other buildings. On this account, I do have the Giant Gauntlet for that King's ability so he can get a lot of value. Now you got two invisibility spells. They are for two different reasons, for funneling and also making Queen or RC invisible. But in ring bases, I'm here to tell you, if you see your heroes are not going perfect, if you can tell my RC, it's going in a way that she can get decent value. Drop that RC anyway, go for that value with the Sui with the RC because on the rest of the attacks that I'm going to show you in this video, I actually use the RC with the Lolo but here you can see the beautiful funnel the Sui gave us. So now we can go ahead with the Lolo from the top side and we're gonna go ahead with the second hound and then also the blimp as well right behind the warden but one thing i'm gonna tell you is that it's not always necessarily to drop that second hound now look at the rave spell the rave spell here is covering the blimp and the loons that are around the town hall so that's how we can get that value and you got a healing spell to heal through that inferno beams or multi archer towers it's a very good spell to have with the sui lalo attack some people like p castro and stars i've seen them do a sui lalo in uh, itsu's king of the hill they take double rage so if you want to go for it go on but now a lot of people are running more multi infernos than the beginning of town 16 meta where everyone was running singles so now the healing spell will give you a bit more value through those inferno towers and if you don't get three of them let's say you couldn't nice heal spell in the core will help you out a lot now let's move on to the next attack it's going to be a box space but the same exact box space i get it twice and i want to show you two exact different approaches on that base and that's why i love the sui lalo so let's move on and see what it is now we are here on this box base with again triple multi inferno with an invisibility tower behind the town hall now the moment you see an invisibility tower i'm not sure about this one but if it's connected to the town hall your king's gauntlet will actually take out the invisibility tower before the king takes out the town hall so do not send the king to that send the king in another side where he can get some nice value with the gauntlet and demolish a certain area of the space and let the queen take care of the town hall now we're gonna go in with the ice golem in front of the king because queen doesn't really need it so you know you can just be fine with it drop the ice golem with the king wherever is necessary and we're gonna go ahead with the drill which actually did get a little bug right there but still we're going moving forward king's ability and this is where you need to pop that freeze go with the queen ability and then you can see the drill kind of like whole idea of it was to pull the cc so we can kill it with that poison and while the king is still alive pulling the cc inside the poison spell and look at the lolo pathing it's about are you gonna enter from the lower side into double sweepers or are you gonna fly behind sweepers now i've tried both ways flying into two sweepers into triple multi inferno is not everyone's job so if you are new to lalo i would advise you to fly the other side which is behind the sweepers now here you can see the rage spell with the warden ability combination it's gonna go ahead and crush this side of the base so nicely adding loons to the top side where the hound is tanking for the air defense and double freeze 
in the core and this is where these are the spells that you can use a lot of you tell me why don't you do the zap lolo attacks and i'm here to say well i enjoy sui lalo a lot more because of the control you have all these spells guys it's mainly to keep these loons alive of course but at one point you still gotta freeze and those invisibility spells and the rc ability which was hiding behind and basically actually under better say all those loons for the entire attack so do not be scared if your loons started to die out you can go ahead keep the spells for the champion and her ability we're gonna go ahead to the next base and then we can also come back to this base again see how i hit it we're here on a diamond base with an invisibility tower again behind the town hall i know like i'm bringing you the hardest one right like the multi infernos are so hard to reach there's invisibility towers on town hall which in some cases people might try to find a bit tough to lalo so just go ahead and sui just like the last attack and this attack we're going to sui the town hall so it wasn't the case on the ring base because of course it's a ring the town hall is really deep in the core but here you can see i'm gonna go ahead with the flame flinger on that multi archer tower and also get a nice funnel for the king now the queen on the top side was meant to funnel the king a bit faster i should have dropped the queen a bit higher and more to the left so now you can see the king is a bit going outside and he's not actually moving towards the town hall now what happens here do not panic next option is for your queen to go for the town hall and that means using that invisibility spells or just keeping everything clean in front of the king so he clears out a lot of the base and then the queen will eventually walk back because there is nothing for her to target look at that baby dragon that is gonna follow the king and then king with his ability is gonna demolish this area which means after this archer tower the queen can go back so no panicking everything is fine and under control but, but one thing is gonna happen here is gonna be kind of crazy because i quite swag a lot of spells here and look at this i thought i could get that little area with the rage queen under that invisibility but unfortunately the giant bomb and the town of poison completely messed up my plan so like literally skelly spell rage spell and that invisibility spell all wasted now what happens how do you lolo on this base there is two multi infernos double scatter and a poison tower so we're gonna go ahead with a small lala right here nothing too crazy but look at the lower side that what i'm gonna do when this hound reaches that air defense it still pops now then we're gonna go ahead with the loons but i already dropped one more hound this means look at that second hound that is gonna go in front of the monolith when that hound destroys it's gonna gather all the traps and the tornado trap this is where we also go with the warden ability now we're gonna go ahead with some loons on the lower side and just watch the spell placement the hound under the warden ability on the left side tanking beautifully so now it's just about where is your royal champion forget about the loons for now because there is a multi inferno but the things that are left is some things that could damage your loons fully but not your royal champion it's a single inferno that the yetis are going to get and it's a multi inferno with the enemy king that is really low so you can already tell with that warden ability and early freeze and the flame flinger and the sui value we got a lot of the key defenses even though there was a lot of base left that's how you can lolo this one but let's move on to that box base now we're here on that box base again but it's not the same player so this box base was quite i would say popular but right now the plan i wanted to showcase and why i brought this box base twice is to showcase how amazing a sui lolo can be because of the way you're not forced to do a certain thing in a zap lolo attack because of the way you can zap a certain defense your sui basically builds up because of that zap spell so now you can see i'm thinking of another method to try and get this base and that means i'm going to sui into the scatter again with the king but this time the queen will go to the multi inferno and that valley the way like the queen is gonna step is basically giving me two ricochet cannons four heroes 
and a multi inferno watch out for that ability i had to drop that invisibility a bit earlier that is unfortunate by me and that is going to cost me out a lot actually but here we're going to invis the king so the queen can actually take out the multi my king to the scatter is again for that cc pool which is a really good thing sometimes but still we have a long way to get this base look at it the way the base is left it's hard right but it's just about that how you're gonna end up lolling it look at the air defense placement this hound is gonna go behind the town hall if there is any of course these red bombs and if there is any tornado but now look at the percentage the town hall wakes up i unfortunately couldn't freeze but this is why we can have that healing spell like nothing happened warden ability some of the loons going backwards some of them going forward but we're gonna go with another group of loons on the top side and look after the town hall a few group of loons go to the core and i'm gonna rage them it's like literally three of them that are alive that i'm raging through this area this means my royal champion will then have a very nicer access to the back end because look the defenses are mostly down it's not about how many loons you have it's just about how to keep the rc alive for the back end sometimes it's not gonna be about the lolo anymore because you got the champion under those loons tanking beautifully and we still have a lot of loons and a normal hound of life so guys hopefully you enjoyed the way i explained my whole idea of why i use the sui lalo how i use them on different style of bases and if you like this type of content comment down below what else and which other strategies you want to see us get deep into it and hopefully i'll see you soon in the next video take care and peace